Hi, this is Gary with MacMost Now. On today's episode, let's look at customizing the presenter display in Keynote 09. So there are two main skills you need to use Keynote to make a good presentation. The first, of course, is building a good set of slides. But after that, you also need to know how to make a good presentation. And there are a lot of tools in Keynote to help you with this. So it's pretty usual to have two displays when making a presentation. For instance, if you have a MacBook hooked into a projector, then your MacBook screen is the first display and the projector screen is the other display. So here you have a look at two displays during a presentation and you can see one just shows the presentation, just the slide itself, and that would be the one you want up on the projector. The other one shows you your presentation display and this includes all sorts of other bits of information including the slide you're currently showing, the next slide, time, things like that. And that's what we're going to focus on here. Now what you can see here is my secondary display. Perhaps the one on my MacBook or the one on the projector. And I want to make this my primary display. The way you do that is you go into displays in the system preferences and you get two such dialog boxes. One, this one would normally appear on the secondary display and this on the primary display. On the primary display you have an arrangement tab and in there you can have the two displays shown and you can click on one and see which one it is by highlighting it. Notice the menu bar at the top. You can drag that from one display to the other and when you do it will turn the display with the menu bar at the top into the primary one and if I drop it here I can see that I get my menu bar at the top. Now back in Keynote here I have some options as well. One of the first places I want to go is to Keynote Preferences and in there I can change some things in both the slideshow and presenter display. So under slideshow I can see here I've got present on primary display or present on secondary display. So this determines which screen shows the presentation and which one shows my presenter screen with the future slide and times and things like that. So in Keynote you want to go to the play menu and you go to customize presenter display. And this will bring up the layout here that you'll see and this handy tool palette here. Now first thing you can do is you can drag around any of these elements on the screen like here's the next slide and you can actually increase the size of these or decrease the size as you wish. You also have the time down here and elapsed time. Uh, you can change a lot of these things. You can remove things like the current slide since you might be looking at it up on the big screen yourself. Uh, you can remove the next slide if you wish. Build markers are these dots here and they tell me that I've got two builds on this screen, uh, two bullet items that are going to appear. So they'll disappear as I go through them and I know how I'm progressing through the slide. Um, also you can do a ready to advance indicator which is the bar at the top. It will be red if you've got an animation or something going on a build going on on the screen and it will turn to green when you're ready to advance. That way you can avoid cutting off uh, some animation by advancing uh, early. You can also uh, turn on and off the clock and timer and set the timer to be uh, time remaining. So if you have a 45 minute presentation you can set it to 45 minutes and then watch it count down. You can also turn on notes which are something you could set for every slide and then see them here in your presenter display uh, so you can remember to bring up things as you show each slide. Now when it comes time to present you also have a lot of options. Uh, here you can see all the things that I want on my presenter display. If I go to the top of the screen I also have some controls here. I can click on slides and I can jump to a slide in the presentation like that. Click go and I can also switch to black which will blank out the display that everybody else is seeing but I can still see things here. Uh, and also you can go to some options here and you can swap displays right here. So if you're in a rush and you realize that you've messed up the displays you can quickly do it right here without having to go back into Keynote and change the preferences. But if you do want to go you can jump to it right here. And also there's this handy help screen. This help screen brings up this whole list of all the different keyboard shortcuts, all sorts of handy things uh, to make you look like a better presenter. So you may want to get familiar with those before you do your big presentation. So there's definitely a whole art to presenting Keynote as well as building slides. Familiarize yourself with all those controls and you'll look like a pro when you're up on the podium. Also note that there is an iPhone app that you can get from Apple for a buck that allows you to control your presentation and look at things like notes on your iPhone while your Mac sits somewhere perhaps even off stage running the presentation. So you may want to check that out as well. Hope you found this look at Keynote presenting useful. Until next time this is Gary with MacMost Now.